The time is 5 o'clock. Here's the world news at 5. First, the top stories. Amosu says his preferred candidate will rule Ogo State till 2027. Nigeria's population now 198 million, says National Population Commission. Boratai reads riot act to army officers of religious, political and ethnic links. Disease control center worried over loss of fever and cholera outbreak. In foreign, homemade hawk wall killed 82 in Indonesia and Russia warns U.S. on its planned military action against Syria. Good evening, I am Ahimerio Uaihinan, bringing you the news and details shortly. And now the news and detail. Governor Ibikule Amosu of Ogun State has given a fresh insight into the identity of the candidate he will support to pick the ticket of APC for the 2019 governorship poll. Amosu says his preferred candidate will be a youth who is vibrant and successful. After staying two terms in office, I'm also predicts that such a candidate will be succeeded in the year 2027 by a woman. The governor spoke on the issue on Tuesday while answering questions from newsmen on the sideline of a news conference he addressed on the forthcoming 2018 Africa Drum Festival in Abu Dhabi. The governor, during the recent meeting of the APC caucus of the state's National Assembly and State House of Assembly, reveals that his preferred governorship candidate may not be a politician. Ogun State Police Commissioner Ahmed Ilyasu has ordered a 24-hour surveillance patrol of Ijebuibo and its environs following the bloody clashes between members of Odua People's Congress, OPC, and IE Cult Group in the town. Liasu also directs the police area command in Ijebode to coordinate police operation in the town. The police commissioner issued the directive while visiting the town for an on-the-spot assessment of the town after the clash, which left four people killed, including a police inspector. The first batch of 29 suspects have been arrested in connection with the bloody clashes and items including a pump-action rifle and one locally made pistol recovered from them. Spokesman of the State Police Command, Aminbola Oyemi, says that additional five suspects were arrested while policemen were combing the various hideouts of the hoodlums on Tuesday morning. Oyemi explained that the police also recovered from five more suspects, two pump action guns, two locally made pistols, ten live cartridges, and assorted champs. The command had on Monday deployed a special squad to the town to restore normalcy to the area. The Senate has given its relevant committees up till next week to tidy up the process of the passage of the 2018 appropriation bill. The Senate President Bukola Saraki during the Tuesday plenary gave the appropriation committee a deadline of next week to submit report on the 2018 budget estimate for consideration. Also, other relevant committees in charge of budget proposals of the federal ministries, departments and agencies to also submit their proposal to the Appropriation Committee. President Muhammad Buhari had submitted the budget proposal to both Senate and House of Representatives since last December. National Population Commission has estimated the current population of Nigeria at 198 million. The commission says it based the current estimated population on the annual growth rate of the country at about 6.5%. The commission's chairman, Chief Eze Duru Yoma, made this known at the 51st session of the Commission on Population and Development in New York. Nigeria, according to him, remains Africa's most populous nation and the world's seventh. He also cites the report of the World Population Prospectors, which predicts that by 2050, the population of Nigeria will be the third world's largest. Army Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuro Buratai, has read a riot act to army officers and soldiers against hobnobbing with politicians ahead of the 2019 polls. He asks officers who are interested in politics to voluntarily resign from service before it is too late for them. Buratai, issuing the warning at the Chief of Army Staff First Quarterly Conference in Abuja, ordered the establishment of a standing tribunal to try officers who violate the rules and regulations of the Army. 
He also warns officers and soldiers who are sympathetic to political, religious and ethnic groups to voluntarily retire or would blame themselves. For instance, Brotai bars officers and soldiers from attending church services outside the army barracks, especially when such facility is available. He also says for the exceptional cases of weddings and any other form of worship, those involved must seek his permission. Morning, anyone who disobeys will have himself to blame. Death toll from Lassa fever outbreak since January this year has risen to 101 nationwide. The new figure, according to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, was recovered and recorded as of last Saturday. The center says there are also confirmed 408 cases from 20 states, including Delta, Abia, Anambra, Bochi, Benue, Ebony, Edo, Ekiti, Federal Capital Territory, and Gombe State. Other affected states are Imo, Kogi, Lagos, Nasarawa, Ondo, Oshio, Plateau Rivers, and Taraba. Also, the center says it is worried over the outbreak of cholera in some parts of the country. This year alone, 37 deaths have been recorded from about 2,000 cases of the disease reported. Dr. Adeshola Ogunleye of the Center's Cholera Technical Working Group raised the alarm at the Hygiene Emergency Workshop in Abuja. She listed states with high incidence of the disease as Bochi, Bernou, Eboi, Oyo, Kanu, Yobe, and Zamfara State. Bochi State, according to her, has the highest level of outbreak with 932 cases. You are still listening to the World News at 5 in Rock City. Up next, we bring you foreign business and sport news. Please, to stay with us. On the foreign scene, 82 people have died on Indonesia's Java Island after drinking homemade alcohol. National Police spokesman Setio Wisastu says the victims died in West Java province in Jakarta after consuming cheap homemade alcoholic drinks. He said 80 others have been hospitalized. Authorities in the city of Bandung declared a health emergency after 45 people died there. Experts say local home brewers do not have the technology to ensure that the methanol, which is highly toxic when ingested, has been separated correctly to render the drink safe to consume. The Israeli army said it attacked a number of Hamas structures in the Gaza Strip on Wednesday in response to explosives planted along the Israel-Gaza border. This is the second Israeli strike in Gaza this week and comes during an especially tense time as tens of thousands of Palestinians are participating in protests along the Gaza border each weekend. Authorities had since March 30, 32 Palestinians have died from Israeli fire. The army said Palestinians placed an explosive device along the border area and detonated it against an army engineering vehicle. Hamas, which has ruled the Gaza Strip since 2007, has not claimed responsibility for the alleged border explosives. Russia has warned the U.S. to avoid taking military action in response to an alleged chemical attack in Syria. Russia's UN envoy Vasily Nebenzia says his country will once again urge the U.S. to refrain from the plans that it is currently developing. He wants that the U.S. will bear responsibility for any illegal military adventure it carries out. But Western leaders say they have agreed to work together to target those responsible for the attack in Doma. French President Emmanuel Macron said any strikes will target Syrian government chemical facilities. The warning from Russia came during a divided meeting of the UN Security Council in which a proposal to open a new inquiry into the alleged attack failed to pass. Russia vetoed the US drafted resolution and China abstained. A countermeasure proposed by Moscow also failed to garner enough support. Now in business. Nigeria's external reserves has risen to $47.3 billion. The figure last attained in 2013 was recorded last April 5. Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefili, made this known in a message to a seminar of finance correspondents and business editors in Uyu. The Apex Bank governor predicts that the reserve will hit $50 billion before the year runs out. 
the steady rise in the external reserves has been largely attributed to the steady oil production, rising prices in the world market, and stoppage of militant attacks on oil facilities in the Niger Delta region. Finally, in the World News at 5 is Pop News. Eight Cameroonian athletes have gone missing from their accommodation at the Commonwealth Games in Australia, team officials have confirmed. Press attache Simon Malombe, who spoke with the BBC officials, viewed it as desertion and that the missing athletes had been reported to Australian police. The three weight lifters and five boxers were last seen at different times on Monday and Tuesday, he said. Cameroon said the group had valid Australian visas until May 15. Officials named the Mason athletes as weightlifters Olivia Matam Matam, Akan Galin Fooji Song Bo, and Petty Minkumba, and boxers Christian Inzi Tsoye, Simply Posala, Asen Foko, Ulrich Yumbo, and Crystal Indiang. The Australian government has warned athletes against overstaying their visas. The Commonwealth Games Federation said it would monitor the situation, but athletes have the right to travel freely on their visas. In 2012, seven Cameroonian athletes disappeared while in London for the Olympics. That was the World News at 5. And just before we go, the major stories once again. Amosu um, said his preferred candidate would rule Ogun State till 2027. Niger's population now 198 million, said National Population Commission. Boratai Red Riot Act to Army Officers on Religious, Political and Ethnic Links. This is Control Center worried over Lassa fever and cholera outbreak. In foreign, we reported that homemade alcohol killed 82 in Indonesia and Russia warned U.S. on its planned military action against Syria. For more stories and to listen to us live, please log on to our website www.rockcityfmradio.com forward slash live. Thank you for listening. I am Ahimario O. Ahimario. Good evening.